uh, walking upstream these beautiful streams like this these clear rocky substrates and, and um, beautiful forested shorelines rapids you know it, it's so much it's easy to forget sometimes that um, we're looking for bass you look at a place like this and you're thinking trout uh, all the way you know and what we're really doing here today is looking for red, red eye bass talapusa bass specifically um, and they live in these same kinds of streams honestly that trout would be living in if the water temperature was just a little bit colder especially in the summer so the ramifications of all these black bass species being recognized and starting to be understood is that our perception of bass habitat has really drastically altered it used to be bass lived in street in in ponds in lakes maybe in reservoirs oh sure and some rivers you know especially smallmouth bass but not in streams that look like this and uh the more we've studied these fish the more we've realized that yes most of the bass species that are found in the united states live in streams just like this the red-eye bass the Choctaw bass, the Shoal bass, the Guadalupe bass. They're all found in wadeable streams. And they, they're found in some larger things, um, more, more boatable areas as well. But this is where the majority of them live. And uh, that has altered our perception of not only habitat, but also threats to the habitat. We never really thought about sedimentation much before on black bass. We never really thought much about, you know, the effect of putting a Walmart in in the watershed of a, of a stream that has bass. Never had to worry about that before. Now we do. You know, folks who have studied river fish have worried about those things for decades and decades. You know, trout and, and also minnows and darters and suckers and all of that. Well, we're right there with them now. Because the same thing that threatens bass also threatens those other species. Or maybe I should turn around and say the same thing that threatens those other species threatens bass.